beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to address an issue that someone raised. Uh, there's a lady who is in Geneva, I think she's in Geneva, yeah? And she wrote to me inquiring whether it's easy to get a job in Switzerland as an African trained nurse after recognition by the Swiss Red Cross. Now, I'll be very honest in this video. I don't want to give you false hopes and I also don't want to discourage you. I'll just be honest. So the thing is, is it easy? No, it's not. This is because most people in Switzerland, most employers prefer to employ those people who have experience working in Switzerland. Now, this is, however, not the case for people who are EU trained. For people who are trained in the European Union countries or other first world countries like the US, Canada, it's easier for them to be employed in Switzerland. So you'll find that you'll have to maneuver your way, you'll have to do other things to be able to get a job as an African trained recognized nurse in Switzerland. So some of the things that you'll have to be ready to do is, for example, work in old people's homes before you can be able to get your way into maybe the home-based care and finally into the hospitals. So if you're someone who loves, who really wants to work in the hospitals, it might be tricky to get into the hospitals immediately after your recognition process. However, there are some things that, like if you did, uh, if you had to do the internship, if the Red Cross asked you to do internship and you, for example, did internship in an old people's home, I would advise you that after finishing a recognition process, keep contact with the old people's homes or keep contact with the hospital that you worked in and apply for a job now to be a qualified nurse there. That is whether you liked it, whether you liked the experience there or not. Then once you've worked there with them, then you can now be able to move from one hospital to another hospital of your choice. However, to begin with, it is very difficult. And then I'll also not, um, I'll also advise uh, African nurses who come abroad, not just to Switzerland, is People who are natives most of the time have the benefit of being able to resign from a job and get another job and there's that luxury of it all. But then for you, if you feel that a job is not good or you don't like a particular job, the best thing to do is maybe apply for another job while you're still in the new job, in the job that you're, you're in, as in in your current job. Because in Switzerland, yes, it's true that there is the unemployment benefit, but this unemployment benefit is just for a certain time. And it comes with so many demands. Like you have to report to the people who are responsible for signing that you, you are looking for jobs. And at times you have to take whatever job there is. And it also not, it's also not good for your CV in general because... In the long run, when you decide one time that you want to get the Swiss citizenship, then they will look into things like those. So these are things that you must know as uh, an African or a foreigner who is not from the EU countries coming to work in Switzerland. Now, that being said, you'll find that there are so many people who want to come and work in Switzerland from the neighboring countries. France, for example. And these are nurses who come to Switzerland because for them it is beneficial in terms of salary, but then they know there is the high cost of living and therefore they go back to their country after the day's work. So there are so many of these people. So when you come and you have your degree from an African country, then these people are given priority over you, which Legally speaking, it's not supposed to be the case. If you're living in Switzerland, you are supposed to be given the job. You are supposed to be like a priority because you're already in the country. You're paying your taxes here. But I don't want to give you this impression that once you've done your recognition, everyone will be looking for you. You will be hot cake. And uh, what it is actually in, in, in the U.S., for example, where as long as you've done your NCLEX, you have your license, then jobs are just there waiting for you. So you have to know that Switzerland is a very small country and everyone is trying to, to get work here. And yes, there's a shortage of nurses. Yes, there's a shortage of healthcare professionals. But then this shortage is catered for largely by the bordering countries. 
So when you come here from a different country, you come here, you're trained from, from Africa, it might be difficult. Another thing you should know is when you start working, um, it, it will not be easy. So don't expect things to be smooth. But this all gets settled in one or two years. After one or two years of working in the Swiss hospitals, you get to know the system, you get to know, uh, you get to find your place. At the beginning, you'll see that some people will be very skeptical to let you do stuff. They'll have the notion of, oh, do you really know what you're doing? And that is very normal. And um, it should just not make you lose hope. It should not make you feel like uh, it's the end of the road. But learn to affirm yourself. Just learn to say no when it's no. And uh, everything will be okay. It takes time. It's not all rosy. It doesn't all work in a day. So it takes time. So these are things that you have to know. And really keeping contact with other nurses is also another thing that is helpful. Have a network of nurses. You'll find that there's a nurse that works in, in all people's homes, another one in home-based care, another one in specialized care, for example, diabetes. And this book can help you know so many things about nursing in Switzerland because it's also not easy to get information in Switzerland. That's the other thing. You might be here, you really want to study, you really want to continue, you want to progress with your studies and reach a certain level. But then it can be very difficult because getting the information is so difficult. You don't know who to go to. You don't know who can help you the information. You apply, try to apply for the schools. They tell you that you have to have what they call HOS, which is like equivalent to the degree. And you start thinking, okay, I don't have that yet. And for me to get that, I have to go to school again in another three years. Maybe you have children, you don't have the time for it. So there are all these things that... Um, can really work against you as a foreigner in Switzerland. But when you get the right information, when you get, when you're the right people, then you can really be helped. So it's, um, it's a good thing to be recognized in Switzerland. It's even better for you to go through your studies here, then you will really have less of issues. But you have to know that it's not all rosy. Then sometimes also people tend to focus on salaries. So Switzerland pays good salary to nurses, that's sure. And what I can say is this salary is equivalent to what the nurses do. Because if you compare to the neighboring countries, they work less hours than Switzerland. In Switzerland, minimum hour, hours is 42 hours a week. And France, I think, is 35 or 38 hours, something around that. And so the salaries can definitely not be the same. Another thing also you have to know is the salaries are high, but the cost of living is equally high. So when you come to Switzerland, you're like, I'm leaving my country because Switzerland is paying high and that's your only reason, then you'll, very, you'll be very disappointed. There was even an emission that was showing a nurse who could not afford even to live in a decent house and was basically homeless. So these are things that happen because the cost of living is very, very high in Switzerland. And things like insurance, things like tax, things like rent are things that are really, really expensive. So if you come here and you are just thinking that, oh, I'm going to make money. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Uh, especially if you have a family, it's not all that. But if you come to Switzerland because you want to change your life, you want to go to a place that the standards of living is good, where you can just, you're, you are happy paying the tax and getting the services, then you're in the right place. Then Switzerland is for you. So these are some of the things that I just want to highlight my fellow Africans who are thinking of relocating to Switzerland or who are already in Switzerland and are thinking of doing their, their recognition. These are some important things that you have to know that uh, you will go through. But all in all, it takes time, 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 time. Give yourself two years just to get in there and get used to everything. At the beginning is difficult, but it gets better. So I'll just do a summary. If you're here, you've gotten your recognition. I know you don't like, for example, working with old people. Get in there, work with old people as you look for another place to work in. As long as you have the experience, as long as you have the experience in Switzerland, let me be precise, then you can be able to get a job elsewhere. That is very important. So thank you very much and see you in my next video. Kindly don't forget to share, like, 
and subscribe. Bye!